Okay, this is for Algebra 1, Lesson 13. Now let me just say, this lesson, everybody should be able to do it. It is really nothing new. If you can graph a line, you can do this. What we're going to do is we're going to graph two separate lines, and unless they are parallel, they should intersect in one point. Okay, I guess it could be the same line, but that's ridiculous. So what you're going to do is we're going to graph these, and we're going to graph them just like always. Now, here's what's a little bit weird about this. Make sure you remember when you graph a line, you want to get the y value all by itself, which it is. And remember this number right here in front of the x is your slope. Love that. And this number on the end is your y-intercept. Now, this is kind of weird. This is an improper fraction. It talks about it right here because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. So three halves, you can either put it in your calculator, three divided by two, okay, your calculator is gonna give you 1.5, or, you know, you should know that three halves is the same thing as one and a half, that's called a mixed number, because two goes into three one time with one left over, and then your denominator always stays the same. And it just says graph this as best you can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the y-axis and we're gonna graph the y-intercept, which is about one and a half. And again, remember I'm looking through my phone, so this is weird. So there's my y-intercept. My slope is a positive one half. So remember, that means you're gonna go up one and over two. So I'm gonna, if this is in the middle of the line, I'm gonna go in the middle line, so I'm gonna go up one and then over two. So there's a point right there. And let's do it again, up one, over two. And if I go down one, you're gonna to have to go the opposite and go to the left two. So I'm just gonna do this a couple times, down one and over two. So I've got, you know, there's infinitely many points on here. I just gave one, two, three, four, five points. But let's do a nice solid line through here. Notice I extended it and I put arrows on it. This was called line A. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say line A right there. So I know when I go back, I'm just, just kind of let me know what line that is. Okay, now we're going to graph the next line. Same thing. We've got the Y by itself. That's cool. This is your Y intercept. Five halves. Remember five halves. Two goes into five twice with one left over. So that's like two and a half. So that's my Y intercept. So there's one, two, there's two and a half. That's my Y intercept. My slope here is the number in front of the x. My slope's negative one half. So I'm gonna go up one, and since it's negative, let me see if I can clear this up just a little bit. I'm gonna go up one and to the left two. Since it's negative, you're gonna go left. So I'm gonna go up one and left two. Okay, let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna go down one and left two. And down one and left two. So it should look something like that. Draw a line through there. See if I can do this through my phone, that's always interesting. You know, try to make this as nice and neat as possible. They call this one line, you see it right here, line B. So I'm gonna write right here that this is line B. Okay, since I have more than one line on a graph. Now notice that these two lines intersect. That's called a solution. They have one point in common, and it looks like they intersect at the point one, two, okay? So look right here, what is the point where line A and line B intersect? It's the point one, two. So it should look like that, okay? Your whole assignment is just like this. Let's try one more. This says draw line C. So again, just make sure Y is by itself. And start here, this number on the end is your Y intercept. So I'm gonna start at two, and I wish I had another color. I guess I could use a marker, it's just so stinking fat. So here's line two. If you've got colored pencils, just do four different colors. It makes it a little bit more fun anyway. My slope is a negative two. So remember that's a fraction. So it's like negative two over one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at that y-intercept. I'm gonna go up two, one, two, and over one. Since it's negative, I'm gonna run to the left. So I'm gonna go up two and over one. And I want a few more points for my sake. Here was the beginning point. So I'm gonna go down two over one. I'm gonna go down two and over one, okay? In fact, I might even do it again, down two and over one. Just so I have, you know, if you've got a ruler, which, you know, or a straight edge, you don't need to make that many. I just don't have it handy trying to hold my phone in everything. So let's connect these points right here, nice and neatly. And this one is line C. So I'm gonna come somewhere, either, I don't care where, but somewhere show that that's line C. 
Let's do it again. Line D, look right here. The Y is by itself. That's very important. There's my um, Y intercept. So come to the Y axis and make a point on negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there. Getting a little cold. That's lovely. My slope is 1 third, positive 1 third. So I'm going to go up 1 and I'm going to run to the right 3. So start here at this point. I'm going to go up 1 and then run 3. 1, 2, 3. Up 1 and then run 3. 1, 2, 3. So I've got this nice line right here. Oops, I kind of missed my point. And it's going to go right there. Okay. So that would have been line D. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to call this line D. And notice that those line C and line D also have one point in common. What point do they have in common? Well, let's see. It went all the way over here. That's 1, 2, 3. And then it went down 1, 2, 3, 4. So the point they have in common is the point 3, negative 4. So that's basically what you're going to be doing on this assignment. Okay, If you get stuck, you be sure and let me know.